So in the last class, we had a discussion of the design of the fire filter using the window method and frequency sampling methods. Let us go for the next concept. It is how to structure these FIR systems. Nothing but the structure for FIR systems. We have varieties of concepts. Here we are going to discuss about the direct form, the aggregated form, and lattice form. So here, the direct form it has the uh, how we need to design this uh, filter. Okay, we discussed. In the previous session, let us go for the structures of these FIR filters. So, a casual FIR filter is characterized by its transfer function H of Z, which is given by the equation H of Z, capital H of Z is equals to summation M is equals to 0 to N minus 1. BM into z to the power minus m. So if we consider the transfer function h of z is nothing but the ratio of output to the input. The ratio of output to the input of the system, then we can easily say it is what? It is the difference equation of inputs that is given by y of z divided by x of z, which is equals to summation m is equal to n minus 1 dm z to the power minus m. So the length of the filter it is n if we consider. Therefore, the output is nothing but what? It is the difference equation of, it is the difference equation which is given by y of z is equals to summation m is equal to 0 to n minus 1 dm of x of z into z to the power minus m. So if we apply some mathematical concept, if we take inverse z term from on the both sides, we are going to get the output of the system. That is y of n is given by summation m is equal to 0 to n minus 1 dm. Here we may replace this inverse transform z transform for x of z into z to the power minus m. It is nothing but the shifted version of x of n by m bits, the shifted version of x of n by m bits. So therefore, the output of the FR system, it is y of n is equal to summation m is equal to 0 to n minus 1 dm into x of n minus m. So dm is nothing but the coefficient of the input signal x. For the above equation, we see that the output is simply a weighted sum of present and past input values. Present and past input values. And does not depend upon previous output values. So the output is a depend on only two things, present input and past inputs. So if you observe the direct form one, realization for such system, it is given in the diagram, what we can observe here it is. So this is completely a system. Okay, how we can structure the FIR filter. It has X of N is the input and Y of N is the out output and the transfer function, it is H of Z, which is nothing but the sum of present input and previous inputs okay with coefficient of each input okay so if you observe here it is the various cascade realization for a fire filter also exists okay so if you go for this one so before going to this cascade you can go for the present fir direct form one realization so you can observe here so here it is generalized Okay, the mathematical equation, it is represented in the diagram approach, which is x of n. Okay, if you take one delay, one previous value, obviously you need the z inverse. So z inverse is going to give the previous bit, that is x of n minus 1. 
if you take previous of this one x of n minus 1 once again you need to pass through that signal it is z inverse so once again it is x of n minus 2 and it is goes on up to n iterations n minus 1 delays because n is the present if you consider so n minus 1 previous elements will be there with respect to input and each here each coefficient it is added with previous value so if you go for this equation what you can observe it is if you consider m equal to 0 so this term will be what b naught and it is x of n b naught x of n so obviously you can observe here so if m is 0 if m is 0 it is b naught into x of n okay b naught into x of n so if you consider two iterations then what will be the n value if n equal to 2 obviously m is ranging from 0 and 1 so what will be the answer so if this expression will be expanded as b naught x of n plus b1 x of n minus 1 so same thing we are going to observe here so first iteration it is when m is equal to 0 it is b naught x of n okay so here you are going to get it is b naught x of n then there is the one delay so that is passed through this inverse transform that inverse so x of n minus 1 into b1 so x of n minus 1 into b1 is the second in input for this uh, summation so for only n is equal to 2 you can get the output as the b naught x of n plus b1 x of n minus similarly if you go for m is equal to 3 if m is equal to 3 then what are the expanded version of this uh, equation the expanded version of this equation it is b naught x1 x of n b1 x of n minus 1 and b2 x of n minus 2 so similarly what you can get it is let me clear the things so for m n is equal to 3 so we are going to get what present one input and two previous inputs so therefore it is x of n into b naught plus b1 into x of n minus 1 so this sum it is added with another product that is b2 into x of n minus 2 so therefore the output what we are going to get that is y of n it is the summation m is equal to 0 to n minus 1 bm into x of n minus m okay so this one is the simplest form structure of this FIR system. So it is direct form. So if you go for cascaded, so it is simple. Okay, there is no issue with the uh, small values of n. Okay, if you go for this n, this n, the length of the filter n. If it is a small number, then there is no issue with the, the structure. Okay, so if it is only one, it is only x of n into b naught. If it is 2, n is equal to 2, it is x of n present and previous 1. So what about m, n is equal to 3? So we have uh, n minus 1 previous values and present 1 element. Okay. So for longer sequences, if the filter has n is equal to a large number. So how we are going to perform that calculation? Obviously, when it looks simple, the summation part, the product is here. We have various uh, means we need to have the previous nothing but what in the system we need to maintain registers. The memory storages must be there in the FIR system. So if the minimum number of n, the small number of value of n is not going to give any problem while designing the system because it is going to you require the minimum memory okay the present element is x of n what about previous element it is up to n minus 1 previous elements we need to store so for storage purpose 
if n is equal to minimum there is no issue with the only one structure okay that is the direct form one if it is the value of n it is bigger okay it is a large enough so then we go for cascaded structures so what we are going to do we are going to split the system okay we are going to split the system so what we have we had discussed in the uh, overlap save and overlap add method if the long sequence of input is coming what we are going to do we are going to perform segmentation and we are going to make frames okay and we are going to label each frame as frame 1 frame 2 and so on similarly for various cascade realization for fr filter it is also exists the simple form of realization occurs when the system function h of z is factored as follows nothing but the h of z is nothing but cascaded realization of each response okay so what we are going to do we are going to segment the thing the overall h of z it is considered as h k of z and we are going to take the cascaded form okay that is summation once again it is obviously so summation of each segment is nothing but the overall system function so therefore here we are going to take h of z is split into m segments so where we are going to use the label for each segment we are going to use the alphabet k for representation where k ranges from 1 to m <coughs> 1 to m so that is h k of z so when k is 1 if the longer sequence is there if you want to only two splits in the h of z so iradanne bhaga martivre no total length irutte n if you say n is equal to 100 it anta ankodre if n is 100 obviously this so the direct form 1 it has a bigger circuit it is a bigger circuit obviously so what the system has to remember it has to store 100 memories okay obviously how we are going to make it fast so that we can split the things if it go for two splits in that given h of z so the 50 sequence is one segment and another 50 segment segment is another segment okay so if you go for that concept so at a time you can perform both calculations okay so therefore here we are going to use the segmented version of this h of z so when hk of z is a segment once again it is a direct form of that particular segment so that is given by b not of k plus b1 of k z inverse plus b2 k z to the power minus 2 and so on okay so So for that realization, we can observe here. So here, the longer length filter it is segmented by its system function. So here, the first segment it is h1 of z, second one it is h2 of z, and the third and up to h of m of z. So once again, each segment is what? Once again, it is a direct form of one. Okay. So x of n is the input. and y of n is the output but here we are going to take the segments okay the one thing the output of each segment is going to act as input for another segment because we need to go for <coughs> so same spot we are going to we are going to segment it okay we are going to segment this so This one is the cascaded realization of FIR filters. Okay. A casual FIR filter that has an impulse response that is symmetric about its midpoint exhibits a linear phase or a Casual FIR filter, the symmetric condition. Obviously, we discussed this one in the previous class. The symmetric condition is what? 
h of n is nothing but h of n minus 1 minus of n. Obviously, uh, in the previous session, we had considered this capital N as capital M. Okay, capital N as capital M. Okay, so there is a small change in the labels. So if you discuss this one, the impulse response that is a symmetric about its midpoint, it is h of n is equal to h of n minus 1 minus of n, where n ranges from 0 to n minus 1. <coughs> so the symmetric condition is exploited to rewrite h of z. So that approximately half the number of multiplications are required for resulting realization. Obviously, we know it is a symmetry, so we need to calculate only for first half. What about the remaining half? It is a complex conjugate of the input, or it is a symmetry. So for if n is even, the DFT of this h of n is the system function, it is h of z, is given by summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1, h of n into z to the power minus n. So making use of this symmetric condition, we may reduce this overall equation to half. So that is h of z is nothing but summation n is equal to 0 to n by 2 minus 1, n by 2 minus 1, because it is even number. So h of n, it is z to the power minus n plus z to the power minus of n minus 1 minus n. If it is odd, <coughs> we may go for, once again, the half will be odd. It is, we multiply with the, the first element, that is h of h of z is nothing but h of n minus 1 by 2. Instead of going for n by 2 minus 1, we go for n minus 1 by 2 into z to the power minus of n minus 1 by 2 and plus the remaining elements. Okay, obviously it is an odd element. So we are going to take one which is odd. It will be coming out from this summation. Okay, but the remaining elements are come under this summation part because for all n values, it is going to represent the respective element. The one which is odd because n is odd now. Obviously, one term will be odd. So remaining comes under the summation. So that summation part is going to realize that n is equal to zero to summation n minus 3 by 2, n minus 3 by 2, h of n, and remaining equation remains as it is. That is, z to the power minus n plus z to the power minus of n minus 1 minus of n. Okay. If you go for the substitution for this <coughs> system function, that is, the ratio of output by input that is given by y of z divided by x of z, which is equals to for even case. Summation n is equal to 0 to n by 2 minus 1. For odd case, it is summation is n minus 3 by 2. So for even case, it is h of n, z to the power minus n plus z to the power minus of n minus 1 minus n, which will be realized as y of z, which is equals to, once again, we just take this uh, x of z in the summation part, so it is the overall thing, it is multiplied with x of z. Okay. Then if you go for uh, mathematical steps, it is going to reduce to when n is equal to 0. So it is x of 0, it is 1 plus z to the power minus of n minus 1. And H of Z, and it is going to be the expanded version of this overall summation. <coughs> Next, if you take the inverse of this one, so Y of Z, what you are going to get, if you take the inverse Z transform of this Y of Z, we are going to get the equation Y of N is nothing but the impulse responses that is h naught into x of n plus x of n minus of n minus n and so on 
nothing but what here the two elements are going to be multiplied with the same impulse response now obviously it is a symmetry what is that symmetry it is n minus 1 minus of n okay so if you observe here you can get the linear phase filter for n which is even condition when n is even we are going to realize the fir linear phase filter as like this right the x of n this have So yeah, same result. Okay. We are going to reduce here. We are going to reduce the the mathematical the multiplication factors. I'm just having the impulse response function on two half of the elements. Okay. So what are those half elements? It is if it is n, obviously it is n by two minus. One. So, if it is the case of odd, if it is the case of odd, obviously one element, obviously which one that one it is the middle element. It is the extra thing what we can consider. So, if you observe here, the middle element, which is the odd, the first one. If it is the n is equal to odd, obviously if you come have the impulse response, first one is last one, second one with the, Last but one. What about the third one? Last but two, and so on. So here we left with the middle element, which is the odd element. So which is going to be a separate edge of n. It has only one impulse response that is known by edge of n minus one by two. Edge of n minus one by two is the odd impulse response. What about remaining impulse responses? They are repeated for two elements of input. Okay, that is h of n and h of n minus one minus n. Okay, so if you go for that odd, you can obviously you just take the inverse impulse response of this inverse that transform. We are going to get the odd element outside the summation and remaining. H of impulse responses. They are multiplied with. They are repeating with two input signals. Okay, so this one is the the FIR linear phase realization for n, which is odd number. So the difference here in linear phase filter structure. It is. For n is equal to even, and n is equal to odd, so you are going to face problems on this one. Okay, it is just an introduction part. So how we need to observe the problems? So if you go for one of the example, it is that realize an FIR filter with impulse response h of n, which is given by the impulse response of the system h of n is equal to half of Half to the power n, one by two to the power n, u of n minus of u of n minus four. So using direct form one, they are asking. So if you go for this solution, the impulse response of the FIR filter, which is given by h of n, it is delta n plus. Half of delta of n minus one, one by four delta of n minus two, and one by eight of delta of n minus three. So taking the z transform, we are going to get h of z, which is equals to one plus 
1 by 2 z inverse obviously this delay will be represented as delta of n minus 1 the previous element obviously it is z minus 1 okay delta of n minus 2 it is nothing but z to the power minus 2 delta of n minus 3 it is z to the power minus 3 and what are the amplitudes or you may say the coefficients it is for 0 it is 1 h of n and for 1 it is 1 by 2 for 2 it is 1 by 4 and 3 it is 1 by 8 and 4 and 5 and so on it is 0. So here we are going to get only n is equal to 4 n is equal to 4. <coughs> Next, to so go for taking the system function h of z, which is equal to ratio of output by input. So y of z by x of z is nothing but the whatever the equation it is, h of z itself. That is 1 plus 1 by 2 z inverse, 1 by 4 z to the power minus 2, and 1 by 8 z to the power minus 3. So if you take mathematical terms, y of z, that is output is given by x of z plus 1 by 2 z inverse into x of z plus 1 by 4 z to the power minus 2 into x of z plus 1 by 8 z to the power minus 3 x of z. By taking inverse z transform on both sides, we get y of n is nothing but x of z. If the inverse z transform is x of n plus the coefficient remains as it is 1 by 2. The x of z into z to the power minus 1 is the inverse z transform is x of the previous element. x of n minus 1. So similarly, x of z into z to the power minus 2 is nothing but x of n minus 2 and x of z into z to the power minus 3. The inverse z transform of this one is x of n minus 3. So if you go for direct form one realization it has a system with input and outputs so this is the system what we need to design so x of n is the input and y of n is the output the internal structure how it will be so how many previous elements one two and three so we have drawn three delay systems that is z inverse z inverse and z inverse between two stages then, so what are the coefficients for first one? It is one. X of n, it is coefficient is b naught is one here. B naught is one here. What about b one? B one is one by two. So the the value of the line it is one by two. The coefficient value. Similarly, b two one by four. B three one by a. And the summation of these things is going to give the direct form one realization of given the fire filter. Next, if you go for another example, how to realize the linear phase fire filter. So it is about linear phase. So in the linear phase, what happens? We need to concentrate on n is even or odd. So if it is even, we need to have the summation part, which is added with the same impulse response, ranging from H0 to H of n, n by 2 minus 1. Okay, so if you go for the linear phase filter, the fire filter having the following impulse response, which is given by H of n is given by delta n, the unit impulse response in its signal in its sample it is delta n minus of 1 by 4 delta of n minus 1 plus 1 by 2 delta of n minus 2 plus 1 by 2 delta of n minus 3 minus of 1 by 4 delta of n minus 4 plus delta of n minus 5. This one is the filter response what we have. So if you go for taking that transform we are going to get this is equal to delta n. It is the z transform delta n is 1. And each previous element of delta of n minus 1, it is z 
inverse. Okay, minus of the coefficient remains as it is, one by four, z inverse, one by two, z to the power minus two, and one by two, z to the power minus three, and here it is the fourth element, one minus of one by four, z to the power minus four, and plus delta of n minus one, nothing but the coefficient is one here. So it is z to the power minus five. Then, if you go for here, the term it is going to give. So here, the how many previous elements it is going to store. So the length is six here because n minus one is five. N minus one is five, nothing but it is the n value for this one it is six. So if n is six, we need to consider the linear phase for n is even condition. So if it is even condition. Or if I go for this one, you just observe here. So the system function, that is y of z divided by x of z, it is given by h of z with same equation. So if I go for mathematical adjustment, that is output is nothing but what a function of input present as previous elements with coefficients. So if we take the inverse z transform of this y of z, which is going to reduce to y of n, it is X of n minus of one by four x of n minus one, one by two x of n minus two, one by two x of one minus three, minus of one by four x of n minus four and x of n minus five. So if you go for the coefficients, that is h of n elements, the impulse responses, the first element is having same with last element, that is. One, so H not is one here. So H not is one. You can observe here H not is one, which is okay, which is multiplied with the summation of x of n and x of n minus one. So we can observe in the common terms. Similarly, the second one it is having the same impulse response of last but one. Last but one. So minus of one by four, which is common between the previous element and the last but one elements. Similarly, the next elements are having same impulse responses. That is one by two, which is multiplied with the, the summation of x of n minus two plus x of n minus three. Same equation we are representing with the Diagram of FIR linear phase realization. So you can observe here, here it is x of n multiplied with x of n minus one. It is multiplied with the coefficient h naught that is one. Similarly, the x of n minus one it is added with x of n minus four, and it is this sum it is having multiplication with the impulse response minus of one by Four. Similarly, the x of n minus two, which is added with x of n minus three, and this sum is having the same impulse response that is one by two. So the summation of all these products is nothing but output y of n. Next, if you go for The next concept is lattice structure, which represents the same butterfly diagram. What we have we have discussed in the previous models. So today we are going to end this session up to these three structures. One is direct form, one and cascaded form. Another one is linear phase. Linear phase. With even and odd conditions. Okay. So <coughs> here it is going to give maths problems. That is nothing but uh, the complete. They are going to ask. Theory regarding this one, 
they are going to ask more problems okay so the problems it is begin with the, the given h of n we need to take the z transform of that one then we need to go for the output and input ratio then we need to perform the inverse z transform of the output y of z so what we are going to get that equation once input in the diagrammatic form okay by using direct form one or cascaded or by using the linear phase so in the next class we meet with the, the lattice structure how we can resolve same our structure for the the fire system okay in the next class meanwhile have a nice day thank you